everybody, this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music, and in this video we're going to get into Sonic Kinetics Espressivo, which is a library consisting of aleatoric effects. For example, there would be a low string effect. Now there are actually four presets. Right now we're on preset one, and by Clicking here, we have these choices. We have moving pads, attack pads, textures, short or bowed. So if I go short, we get that. I can select it, and it automatically will select the high, mid, and low. In other libraries, you could choose your high, mid, and low individually, but in this library, the uh, high, mid, and low are once you choose a high patch, the mid and low are automatically assigned to be compatible. So now right here, this key is playing the pattern I just loaded. And here was the automatic mid patch, which is similar. And then your automatic low patch, which was assigned. And you also have mod control. On your volume, you can raise or lower it with the mod wheel. And that's the strings. We also have brass, woodwinds, and percussion. So we're still on the first preset. And let's listen to the woodwinds. The woodwinds are the blue keys. And then the strings are C, D, and E for preset one. And they're actually C, D, and E for preset two. By going up to C2, I automatically invoke preset two. So there's your mid, and C3 is your high. And then similarly up here at C4 or middle C, we get our lows, mids, and high strings just by typing C, D, and E. And up in C5, same concept. By clicking this S here, you can actually see the score view. So here's our high. So we see what's actually going on. Here's our mid and our low. And then if I go down the octave, I can see the score view or what's going, the cluster that's taking place. There's your mid and your low, and so on. So now let's take a look at the brass. The brass, again, you have pads. You also have rhythmic and you have melodic. So let's take a look at rhythmic slow. There would be a preset. We could go rhythmic fast, and we would get this. So if I choose this patch right here, notice we are in preset three. So then we're doing brass. So the brass are, are the keys G, A, and B. And again, Here's the score view, which you get by clicking on the S. There's your head. We see we have horns playing these figures here. And then we have our trombones and bass trombones. And the high, we have our trumpets, and we go down to our horns, and then the low are our trombones. And we're on preset three. We have four presets. I can click here to go to preset four, or I can go to the highest octave, which would be up here at C, or actually G5. There's your mid, there's your high. 
We also have uh, woodwinds and percussion, but again, you have the same kind of idea with pads. Here we have crescendi, which is different. Uh, we have rhythmic, slow and fast, and melodic, continuous, broken, directional. So here would be an example of a directional melodic. which is a little loud at this point, but let's go ahead and we're in the C4, or the, uh, the fourth preset. Now your woodwinds are C sharp, D sharp, and F. So clicking on this S in Expressivo, the second S, we get the score. So here's your high, there's your mid, and there's your low. So. So we have a piccolo going on, we have an oboe and flutes one and two going on up there in the high. In the mid we have oboes, English horns, and clarinets. And in the low we have bass clarinet, a bassoon, and contra bassoon going on. And then in terms of percussion, we have these choices. We have uh, crescendi, the, like, direct and delayed, rhythmic. Let's do a rhythmic dance. So your percussion are on A sharp, G sharp, and F sharp, or the red keys. If you look at the score view, they have, in this case, there are three uh, keys. We don't really have high, mid, and low on the percussion, just on the strings, wood, wind, and brass. So here we have Tom Tom on the edge, and then we have some snare sticks. And let's, okay, right now we're in preset four. Let's go to preset three, which we would get by uh, clicking on the basically A or B flat, A flat, and F sharp or G flat. So if we click on that, these are our choices. We can see what's going on uh, in the score view. Let's go ahead and, okay, they actually don't specifically specify in this case. but it's probably different sounds with cymbals using uh, different kinds of mallets. And let's look at the percussion down here. So here in preset two, and if we look at the score view, so we have a glockenspiel run, Xylophone one, marimba, xylophone two, and then in the lower, the low key, F sharp in this case, we have xylophone two, marimba, and xylophone one. So you have different patterns. Now, the nice thing about this library is you can play your strings, brass, woodwinds, percussion simultaneously over all four octaves. So the first octave basically gives you preset one, consisting of strings, brass, woodwinds, and percussion. The second octave, the same thing, but different patterns. So let's suppose I play the low string patch in octave one, and I play the woodwind patch, the second woodwind patch, which are the blue keys, in octave two, and then I, in octave three, I play the brass first patch. And then I play the first patch in percussion in octave four. So 
So you have a lot of variety. And remember, each of these patches for all the presets can be changed. For example, in preset one, I can go ahead and change the string patch, the brass patch, the woodwinds patch, and the percussion patch. I can do them all simultaneously, randomly by clicking the O. Then we see all of these things change, and we're an octave, the first octave. So here's strings. And then in the brass, if you'll notice the brass being the yellow keys, you'll notice that the we have an option. We have two dots here. That means there are two variations. So if I click the first, the low patch, and then click on the variation, I sound quite similar. Let's try the second one. Slight difference there. And then we have our woodwinds. Let's look at melodic. Sorry about that, it gets pretty loud. Let's that one. We're in preset two, so that's the second octave. Third octave, now as you keep your eye on that, and also the keyboard. So this is basically uh, we do have uh, controls for modulation. You can activate uh, a particular instrument sensitivity to the mod wheel. It can be ignored by clicking on that for volume changes and keep the other, say your woodwinds and brass active in the mod wheel and then have the strings basically immune to the mod wheel. So here we're doing percussion, low strings, mid woodwinds. And we can even go down here and put in the low strings down here. And the high strings in the first octave. So you have access to really all four octaves depending on how, how you can uh, stretch your fingers. So you can come up with a lot of variety. And you can custom tailor these based on your choice for the strings, brass, woodwinds, and percussion simply by going in and choosing a phrase for the brass, for example. Well, let's suppose we do a moving phrase. And uh, so they can be custom tailored. So that pretty much gives you a, an overview of how to operate the Expressivo. And uh, the library is actually recorded at a tempo of 130, and it does uh, adapt to your, the tempo in your DAW, so you probably want to keep your tempo close to 130 to avoid uh, time stretching unnecessarily for the most natural sound. So this is Bill McFadden. If you like this video, please click like. If you wish to subscribe, then please click on the subscribe icon at the end of the video coming right up. So Bill McFadden signing off from Atomic Pure Music.